the thing with business, a lot of people don't talk about it's like, there's a lot of million dollar businesses, but how much are you actually making and netting? And that's why I yeah. say we're making seven figure profits. Yeah. That's a huge difference. Yeah. There's, I know a lot of, I used to be part of EO, Entrepreneurs Organization, where it's entrepreneurs that make, uh, that have million dollar businesses. But there are so many people in there who are making like 40 grand. Yeah. And because it doesn't like, you can be make, that, that's one of the biggest misconceptions in business is like, just because you have a seven figure business, business doesn't mean you're actually making millions or have a million cash in your bank account. Yeah. To get a million cash in your bank account, you have to make a lot of money because there's taxes, uh, employees, all that stuff that goes out. To actually net after that a million yeah. to have in your bank account, that's a huge thing. We're having the female entrepreneur minute. One of the top female entrepreneurs is visiting with her husband, Hi. Mimi. <laughs> And so we get three tips for you. Into that. So three we'll tips. Call, that's fine. Yeah, we'll call it the female entrepreneur minute with Mimi <laughs> Icon. I like that name. But like <laughs> Icon. I like okay. okay, quiet on the set. Steven is here. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, you want me to so you could just start right in. Yeah, sorry. I'll sorry. ask you off camera, that way you get maximum. Yeah. So you got 10 seconds to give one piece of social media advice. What I found works the best is something intriguing that people haven't heard before. Three, Ready, set, go. Consistency is probably one of the most important things when you're posting on social media. You cannot expect results if you're not gonna be doing it every single day. Perfect, that was 10 yeah? seconds, cool. yeah. <laughs> so just put, I put caption, number one, social media period social media colon that's how i do it like normal on social media colon be consistently posting every day especially to youtube that's the one people because people will post to instagram yeah. every day not youtube willie you rex do you know who he is willie. he's a spanish he's one of the biggest he has 14 million subscribers awesome. he said i posted time three times a day since 2009 let me, let me interject in that. I'll, I'll add that. Bounce over here. Just shoot the next snap. And then we'll... It's actually better. It'll get more engagement if I comment on it. Snapchat. Full production Snapchat. Oh, dude. Snapchat's the shit. Are you guys blowing we up Snapchat? Yeah. yeah. Not as much as you are, but... Three, two, one. Especially with YouTube. Willie Rex, who has 14 million subscribers, told me he's been posting three times a day since 09. Got it. Just put. He's a smart mofo. That dude's like the. He's he's like the PewDiePie of Latin America. Oh, wow. What is he doing it in Spanish or English? Yeah, it's all Spanish. Spanish. He's in Spain. He's like 22. He's smart. Yeah, yeah. yeah 14 million subscribers is a lot of subscribers. There's not that many get over 10 million. And his views? What do they average on? Oh, he's engaged. Like people. Like he posted a picture on his Instagram or Twitter of me and him in the garage. Yeah. That thing got like 14,000 retweets in one hour. That's crazy. Uh, he's, he's followed. He's a gamer. So for this last video, he's what do you want to call that one when you gave a follow-up to Just to be that. like my buddy my buddy with 14 million subscribers posts three times a day to YouTube. Anything you want to say to the camera? Any behind the scenes action? <laughs> no, it's just fun. It's, it's, it's fun always see. fun watching Ty because uh, he's just like always channeling this interesting information. I know, he's just uh, it's behind he's the scenes on the Snapchat production to see uh, how it's done. For times sure. Don't do what you hate. 
and about 85% of people hate their job. And you'll never get make much money in what you hate because you won't have curiosity to study how to become better. You only make money by promotions, either from your boss or you're the boss and you promote yourself. Sweden and he went to my office just to sit around while, while I was working during the day and he came to me he goes Ty all the movies about America are true I said what do you mean he said I looked in your office and you had three phones one on your head here one here going buy sell and he was <laughs> like dude that was amazing I'm going to tell you something. One of the reasons that I respect Hegan, besides all of his jiu-jitsu uh, championships and things, and belts, Hegan is a very enlightened person. Because he's hard for me to read. Very hard to read. Because you're probably naturally an E, but you can't tell anymore. He got rid of his sensitivity. No, oversensitivity. I bet you when you were younger, you were more sensitive. I would say you're probably, P is the least strong, but even that you're strong. So, you know, usually when you find amazing people that have reached the pit, like I got to interview Kobe Bryant. I sat next to him for the last couple of games before he retired. I went back in the locker room. Kobe Bryant is hard to read. He's a champion, 20 years, hit the game winning shot. I mean, made 300 million bucks. People at the top are hard to read. How many ninjas? How many people do I meet that think they're ninjas? Uh, two trillion. How many ninjas do I meet a year? Uh, so far, one last one year, two. Mark Cuban is incredibly powerful and checkmate you mind-wise. Elon Musk, number two. Everybody else, I go to all these entrepreneur conferences, I'm like, bro, how many coral belts are there in the world? The belt that you... How many belt... Okay. 20 people have your belt. Yes. In the world. Oh. Yes. How many people do jujitsu? Uh, 5 million. 5 million? Five, oh, no, over okay. 5 million. 10 million, maybe. And how many people have the red belt? Would you... Uh, uh, red say? belt, maybe 10? Uh, yeah. So, that's the ratio of brain ninjas so, in the world. <laughs> huh? No, but everybody I meet thinks they can read people. I'm like, come on now. How are you testing this shit? Like this guy holding the camera here. He told me he was the Floyd Mayweather of fighting. How long did he last to get you, Hegan? 32 seconds, maybe? 30 seconds? He's a pit bull. <laughs> Yeah. No, because because Andrew Andrew's like more most people. Most people have a lot of potential, and the fact that they have potential makes them proud of their potential. Never be proud of your potential. He's pretty good. He can be good. He can be good. That's the operative word. Because I last, I can last longer against Hegan than you right now. He's squashing. You tapped out faster than any girl I've ever seen. Come on, Andrew. Hey, I told him Holly Holm stayed strong till she was passed out. <laughs> this dude got a little side control pressure and was like, -da 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 -da, let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. He <laughs> got a little side control. He can just go like this. And, uh, uh, hey, Andrew, you talk, he's, he's a great athlete. He pushed me against the wall. I said, wow, he's, he's a great athlete. I believe this guy. Andrew, he's an enlightened person, more enlightened than me. Enlightened people are nicer. <laughs> He'd be a nicer, a lot nicer. I'm more blunt. <laughs>
because guess what? The magic is on the other side of the conference. Oh, so. Oh. Damn, that was 12. <laughs> <laughs>